believing first that he was going to die, even though at least three times he said, and I, if I be lifted up, I'll draw all to myself. Lifted up on the cross, lifted up in resurrection. Couldn't hear it. Said it three times. They couldn't hear it. Just went by them. And even when he rose and they believed it, then they didn't understand what happened with it. So Jesus needed somebody to guide the church. And three or four or five years later, there was a story of the conversion of St. Paul. Saul of Tarsus was burning with anger at the Christian people because some of them were saying that Jesus was God's son. Like we do, huh? God's son. And he persecuted them and killed some of them. And he's on his way then from the city of Jerusalem to Damascus to try to find some more of them and put them in jail. And on the way then, he's struck blind with like a bolt of lightning and a voice from heaven says, Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? And he thought he was doing God's will. He thought he was doing the right thing. So he said, who are you, Lord? And the voice said, I am Jesus, whom you are persecuting. Now get up and go into the city. You'll be told what to do. And so he was blind for three days. And finally then somebody came, laid his hands on him. He could see and he was baptized. And he immediately began to preach that Jesus was the Son of God. And then they tried to kill him. And so he went away and he said, ah, it didn't work out. And he tried again and it didn't work out. And then after a while they came and they found him. And he began to teach again. And he became the greatest teacher because he was trained to be a rabbi. But the other guys were fishermen. Not only a fisherman, but some of the relatives. Relatives. Men have relatives for your friends. That's okay, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it is. But they weren't so bright, at least in terms of what happened. And they didn't understand how Jesus could say, that he was being persecuted. And so Saul came to understand that Christ Jesus and the Christians are one. You, me, a young people, they're one with Jesus as he dies, they're one with him as he rises, they're one with him as he goes into heaven, if only they're baptized. All of you guys are baptized, and so you're the great ones. And that means that God the Father right now is looking at you, and you know what he sees? He sees Jesus. Isn't that great? Wow, you must be so special. And you are. And so... I remember some 20 years ago, I was back in St. Anselm and I was teaching the fourth grade CCD kids. And in the beginning of the scripture, it says that God said to Adam and Eve, from all the things here you may eat, except the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, don't eat that because the day in which you eat it, you will die. And so the people came to understand, the earliest people, that God was saying very simply, sin, sin brings death. So Adam ate it and we die. We die because we're his children. We die. He couldn't give us life. All he could give us was a vague promise. <laughs> but we have this promise fulfilled. And so that today is the day that changes the world. Easter. Because you and I whether we're eight or four or three, doesn't matter. We're baptized. And so Jesus is seeing, and God the Father is seeing Jesus in us. And that means we have a reserved seat in heaven. 
that pretty good? Boy, is that wonderful. A reserve seed. Not because we deserve it. Oh, no. But because his love washes us clean. Clean. Absolutely clean. Only a God of infinite love can do this. And Jesus does this for you, and he lets you know it in order that you can share his forgiveness and his healing and his love. Ain't easy. Ain't. But we can do it with his help, huh? You guys especially can do it. Because you're the ones that Jesus dreamed of. I can't wait, he said, until I eat this supper with you. I can't, I can't. I'm, I'm burning up to eat this supper with you. To give you my body and my blood. And that's what Jesus does for you tonight. So because of Easter, we don't know what to say. Words just don't come. So we take an old Hebrew word and we sort of jump at it. We say, oh, Isn't God good? Isn't God great? Praise be to Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 So we come to this time of the Mass and all we can say is, God love you. Because I think you're great. <laughs>